I don't think that really helps me at all. Alright, let's uh, see what else we have here. D dude, there's no way. I didn't touch that at all. You all saw that. I didn't touch that at all. What a load of crap. Run, Dixie! And I heard a DK barrel somewhere, but I didn't see it, and I can't go back now, so... Whoops! And we're only at the end, so that kind of sucks. Uh. Oh, there we are. There we are. Was this the same DK barrel I heard? Maybe. Maybe it was. This is a hard level, so I, I would expect him to put in uh, lots of DK barrels. Because while they're mean, they're not cruel. Although I don't know where the difference is. Like that. They could have been deuces and made this a bottomless pit. But they were nice and put a floor down here. So, but later, later they won't be so nice. I just jump into these really nearly. Don't I? Oh no! I didn't... Oh. I didn't know that, uh, they were gonna suit Dixie so high. Hey, I saw up as a spider, cool. I didn't know they were gonna suit Dixie so high. I really thought that once I saw her, she's just gonna instantly grab onto the rope and I could jump. But no, of course not. That would be too easy. That would be too easy indeed. Alright, let's... Go ahead and go past no spiders and get myself another bear coin. Let's not be idiots and lose our lives here. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. We're good, we're good. I learned my lesson the first time. Okay, this is much, much easier. Much easier. Okay, let's go here. See, that's what I thought was going to be the first time. I thought that you were just going to instantly jump on the rope and I could run away or jump over the TNT. But it didn't work that way. Not at all. Ah. That's right, you got to jump over to him and uh, see if I can actually make this. Hey, all right. Found a secret. So you're supposed to go this way all along. I see. I see. All right. We got this. We got this. Don't don't even worry about. It. We got this. We got this. I got this too. See? Ah, you can't fool me once. Same on you. Fool me twice. Well, you aren't gonna fool me twice because I'm too smart for that. <laughs> Okay, um, oh man. Low G Liberinth. I thought we'd go straight to the boss from here. Oh well. Low G Liberinth. Probably means low gravity, Liberinth. And we are in, we are in a toxic, oh. We are in a toxic sewer that has magical abilities of jump. It makes us jump really high. Huh. This is one of those things I just really like to say. How the heck does that work? Oh, you can't jump by there? Okay, fine. I'll jump this way. But of course, I'll get hit. Of course. Let's see. Oh, uh, I see. There's a way for him to go up. There we go. wasn't too bad. So this, this whole level is about using this whole thing that they devise about low, low gravity. Makes jumping on these guys really annoying. Okay, there we go. These guys jump way beforehand. This also makes you go really slow, so it's like a slow motion type thing. Okay, the so is not worth it. But with Dixie, I can easily get out of here. Dixie can just break this level right here, because... 
So you can pretty much float down twice as far. I'm gonna use it right now to uh, make sure I don't land on anything I don't want. There we go. Just fly, fly past everything, Dixie. Just, just do it. That's why you're my backup. Get this O. Might as well grab a life over down here. Oh, um, what's, what's coming up next? What's coming up next? The banana bunts. The banana bunts. The banana bunts. Oh no! Oh no! All right. Jeez, this thing's giving me a heart attack. Oh no! Hmm. Right next to the halfway point. I'll meet you back there, folks. Just give me a second. Okay, here we are. Here we are. We're at the halfway point. Everything's good. Let's try to get that bonus area. Uh, looks like you can't. Hmm. I thought that was going to happen, so I'm not too distraught about that. Because I know we can just go back and, uh... We usually start right here. Oh, a Squawk's retarded cousin! Hey, Socks, how you doing, buddy? You can actually fly this time! Hey! Looking up, man, looking up. Let's go to this bonus area, that's probably how you get it. It's like 80 stars, huh? I don't know if Socks can do this. He's kind of a slow bird, you know what I mean. Let's get all the ones here. Okay. There you go. Got two more left, and they're right here. There you go, socks. I knew you could do it. Alright, socks. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, man. So I guess Sox is only good when he's in a low-gravity environment, which is pretty much never. Oh, but he has a new ability in this game that lets him pick up barrels and drop them on foes, which I completely missed, so don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. But yeah, if you hold on the Y button, you can... Ooh. Pick up barrels and drop them or hit enemies with them. Am I supposed to go this way? I don't... Oh! Urgh. Man! You can't... You don't see those guys coming. Okay, obviously this is the way we're supposed to go, so let's go ahead and wait. Kinda wanted to see what was down there. Probably another bonus area, but... I can't be bothered with that. No sorry. I, I can see what's up here, though. Got some TNT. Um, I can go and kill that guy and see what's down here. Oh, it's another bonus area. Okay, there we go. Let's make up for the one that we missed. That's the bad news. Oh, this time we get to play as Squawks. He still flies kind of slow, because this is a slowdown. I don't know. I mean, just because we're in low gravity doesn't mean everybody has to move slow. It's kind of annoys me. It's kind of taken away from my pacing. Like, I'm used to going through this pretty fast, but this is getting me... It's taking away from my pacing, uh, honestly. It's, as in all the levels up till now, they've been pretty fast, pretty furious. But this is just kind of a... Where it's, a slow level, kind of, you know? We're just kind of making our way through it slowly. Yeah, I mean, we get to jump high, and that's kind of cool, I guess. But, uh... I'm pretty sure we have to save this barrel. So let's go ahead and ignore that. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's go ahead and use it right now. There we go. Get this stuff. Get us back up to 30 lives. I don't know if we had before, but... 30 sounds good. What's over here? Completely ignore that arrow. Ooh, boy. I'm not going over there. Nope. I'm not going over there if there's only one hit. I don't care what you say. Oh. We 
We could do this and then no. Let's go ahead and end the level. I don't I don't wanna see what's over there. Let me see what's over here though. It's over here. Or that's a G. I don't want the G. And that probably just leads to a dead end. So let's go ahead and forget about that since I already missed the O. Oh boy. Precision jumping at its finest. Right here, folks. I really, really wish I had Dixie with me. But we got through it just fine without her. So everything's good. Phew. Phew, phew. All right. Let me take a sip of Mountain Dew over here. All right, Chaos Carnage. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Let me move these wires out of the way. All right, we're good. Uh-oh. Brr, clank, conks, enemy. You must be... destroyed. Oh no! Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, so this is a robot boss. I don't... Um... Kinda forgot what you gotta do. Oh yeah, you gotta jump on the blades. Uh-huh. You gotta jump on the blades. You would never suspect to do that. Okay, let's, let's do this. Aw, oh, man. Don't punch me off. Aw, oh, crud. Okay, well, I know what to do now. So let's go ahead and, uh... I don't think he says a little dialogue this time. Yeah, he just goes straight into the fight. Oh man, you know, he does. Come on, get over it. Yeah, destroy it, I get it. I must be eliminated. Alright. Go ahead and bring out your blades. There you go, hit his head and you and you do damage to him. Obviously, I mean where else do you think you would do damage to a robot? Haha. -ha. Now it starts getting faster. Obviously, like most other bosses in the world do. It's basically a law that once you get close to your health. Oh, this is a horrible place. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Come on. Oh no! He's not dead yet! I forgot what to do after this part. Oh man. Oh, come on. Alright. Let's do this one more time. I don't remember what to do after this part, so bear with me here for a moment. Yeah, okay, you can kind of skip through the dialogue. Oh, crud. <sighs> Man. Come on, let's go. Yeah, whatever, alright. I knew I was gonna get it I knew I wasn't gonna get very far. It's only one hit, so uh Yeah, come on, let's go, let's go. Alright, roll under him the first time. Alright, we got that part. I always wanted to just stand in that corner and cower in fear. But I always get hit for some reason. Man. Okay, come on. There we go. The law of a bosses is to go faster whenever you get hit three times. Or die. This is Mario logic. Oh, come on. Man, stop booting me off. Dude, there's no way. I hit him. I hit him. Ah, oh, man. Just 
So if he knows that I'm gonna mean something on his head, then why does he even have those blades? Because he has a boxing glove, so he obviously knows I'm gonna mean something on his head with the blade. So why does he even have the boxing glove, huh? Why? I like how the head looks like the Terminator. He even has like the little sunglasses and stuff. It's pretty funny. There we go. Does that kill him? Maybe. No. Probably not. Oh god, you're shooting lasers at me. You're shooting lasers at me. <laughs> what the heck, dude? It's <laughs> not fair. There we go. Are you done? Oh, I had to hit you. I had to hit him one more time. Keep running. Keep running. Go. And go. Aha. There we go. Beat him. I know I did. Six hits, dude. You're dead. No. Brr, brr, brr. Kongs. Wren. Yes. Does not compute. Next time we beat, Chaos will win. Chaos will never win. I don't know what that means. Anyway, so now we got this. It, it looks like a... A snowboard, or maybe half of a ski, or something. Uh, I have no clue what it is. <sighs> but anyway, that about does it for this series of episodes. This is probably I just split into two, like I did last time. So anyway, um, we next time on Donkey Kong Country Three, we will probably go to. This guy would go to Funky's Rentals and, uh, see what that ski can, uh, do to our boat. Hey, if a band-aid can make our, can make a boat into a hoverboard, then what can a ski do to a hoverboard? My guess is probably going to be turned into some kind of awesome spaceship or something. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.